Hey everybody, my name is Jared and I am a Master Mason in the state of Mississippi in the United States of America. And this is the Working Tools tie from Edgar Alejandro over at Masonic Revival. Today's viewer's question is, I would appreciate you considering to do a talk on One Day Masons. Well, so I am a One Day Mason at least in some sense of the word. So let's talk about this a little bit. In typical, traditional, operational guilds, you have different stages. And while I have never been in one of those guilds, the way I understand it is a apprentice is assigned to a master to start learning the work and that they are an apprentice for upwards of seven years before earning the right to be a journeyman who then works at the same skill level as a master but works with a master until such time that they go and work on their own and then when working on their own they are a master of their particular craft now that may not hold up to today's standards but the point here is there takes time to learn something to be able to actually claim a proficiency and a skill in a particular craft. I believe, without any historical references to cite to you here, that the purpose of the one-day classes in Freemasonry, that where you receive all three degrees of the Symbolic Lodge in one day and not over any course of period of time other than that, was a result of an interest in improving membership numbers. That we wanted to get as many people in as we possibly could, and since most jurisdictions require you to be a Master Mason before you start paying dues, that we need to get a Master Masons as quickly as possible and start collecting that money so we can keep making masonry as grand as it was in the decades past. Now that may not hold water in every particular situation, but here's what I think about it. I feel sorry for the people who had to go through a one-day class. Now there are a couple different facets to that. If you are in a profession, let's say something like an over-the-road truck driver, and it's very difficult for you to study with somebody on any sort of a recurring basis. You may only be at home once a month and how are you actually going to ever receive these degrees and really put in the work that you want to put in? I feel sorry for that brother having to be put in that position of either deciding to get all of his degrees at once or spend over perhaps a decade trying to get his first three degrees. I also feel sorry for the brethren who had ample opportunity and choice to be able to take the degrees in a slower manner, but decided to do it in one day out of a matter of convenience, because they have lost so much uh, that is a part of masonry. You know, I've had a lot of people who have... Um, you know, raised a caution flag, so to speak, uh, about these videos, either directly to me or I've heard about it through the grapevine, where people say, well, don't watch all those videos right now, wait till you get the degree, and then, and then watch the videos, because you don't want to take away anything of the experience by having read ahead in the book. And there really is something to be said for that. I think there is certainly a value to say, okay, I got my Entered Apprentice degree. Now let me go ahead and watch those Entered Apprentice videos. I got my Fellowcraft degree. Let me go ahead and watch those Fellowcraft videos. But by watching them ahead of time, it might not have as much of an impact to you when you go through the degrees. But seeing in another light, you could say, well, because I had a bit of a primer, I was able to focus a little bit more in the degree and pick up things um, as they came rather than it just be the whole fire hose analogy and you didn't really pick up anything at all. So what I would like to do is encourage all of you brethren who went through in the traditional way not to look down on one day masons as something to despise, something that where you think, oh, it took me three months to do that, it took me three years to do that, it took me a decade to do that, and you got it all in one day. Um, 
don't don't look at it in that perspective. Look at it as a oh man, I, I hate that you missed out on all these things. You know, I, these brethren probably don't want any sign of pity, uh, but that's really how I feel about it. I feel like, man, I'm sorry you missed out on all the things I missed out on. You know, I got to sit down with somebody who's a good friend of mine and through our studying got to know him better as a person. I got to feel the accomplishment of learning a proficiency. In learning the proficiency, I learned about the history of masonry and in a way, history of the world to some extent. But you got it all in one day. Man, I'm glad to call you brother, but you got a lot of studying to do to kind of catch up and really get to where th where the rest of us are at and our understanding what Freemasonry really is. So, and I, and I think any sort of bad feeling that you might have, if you've gone through the York Rite degrees as they are here in the United States, then... Uh, I would encourage you to look back to the lessons you learned in the Royal Arch chapter before you ever got that chapter penny and think about what it would really mean uh, if somebody got the same thing you got in a shorter period of time. Um, there's a powerful lesson to sort of help us all subdue our passions on that particular regard. So consider that and if what I just said means nothing to you then read the Bible a couple times you'll figure the story out somewhere in there but as I said at the beginning of this I am a one-day Mason I got all 29 of my Scottish Rite degrees from the fourth to the 32nd in one day in fact, most of them I didn't really get at all. I saw a couple of them. I got to be the candidate in one of them, and the rest of them I saw a PowerPoint presentation and had somebody read to me the general things that were supposed to be taught during that degree. And when I went back in and started doing the Scottish Rite Master Craftsman program that we have here in the Southern Jurisdiction, and I actually started reading these rituals and you know there not everything's in the books that I have uh, but there's enough of it to make you go man I would have really liked to see that that bet you that is just an amazing degree and and you sort of feel this letdown of I can't believe I got the short end of the stick on this you understand why because in your local area there's only so many brethren and the same people who have been doing the degrees have been doing them for a decade and only a couple new people have come in and there's no extra funds to put together all the extra sets and costumes for all these other degrees you you certainly understand it and you don't you know condemn anybody for putting you through the one day class but you do feel like you missed something and the same is somewhat true even with the York Rite degrees. While I received every single degree and order in its full form, I also sat on the sidelines most of the time. I did get to be the candidate in at least two of those, uh, one of the degrees and one of the orders, but it happened over two days and you don't have time to really process and understand what you went through before suddenly an entirely new story is presented to you or the same story with a different perspective and additional information and it leaves you wishing that maybe you didn't do it so quickly now I don't know that everybody who goes through degrees in a quick way feels that way but I hope you walk away from this video with an understanding that in my personal opinion, if you have an option, take the time. If you have the ability to just get the entered apprentice degree and then take whatever time it takes to actually turn in a proficiency, which I know not all jurisdictions require, learn something before you just turn around and get that next degree. Take some time to soak it in and understand it and then again and again moving on. If you are in a jurisdiction where your Scottish Rite Valley doesn't feel like it has to perform all the degrees in one weekend or even on one day, if you can take a degree at a time over a period of time, then do it. You know, the only thing we learn 
in the appendant bodies of York Rite and Scottish Rite is a deeper understanding of the same things you already learned in the three symbolic degrees in Blue Lodge. They are just explored in a greater depth and with more information presented, but there isn't anything extraordinarily new. There is certainly value to them. I wouldn't give up my York Rite and Scottish Rite degrees for anything. I'm very glad I went through them and I am certainly a participant in both of those bodies. But to try to rush to the end, to get to be a 32nd degree Scottish Rite Mason, to get to be a uh, Knight Templar, or even to get to be a Master Mason, and even in many cases, there's people out there rushing to become a Shriner. You know, they, they just want that right away. We've, we've had somebody come up to my lodge wanting to become a Shriner, and when they found out they had to at least go through the uh, first three degrees first, and that was going to take them at least four months, uh, they just decided it wasn't worth the time at all. If you can just take your time to get these degrees, I promise you, it's going to mean more to you months down the line than it's going to mean to you tomorrow. If you just get all your degrees today and you wake up tomorrow as a Master Mason or whatever, it will mean less to you than if you got them over a period of time. Now, I don't mean to put words in the mouths of everybody who's been made a Mason in just one day, but I really do believe that there is truth in that. That, that there's value in time and effort and understanding than just doing it in one day. So brethren, don't look down upon our one day Masons. Remember the stories out of the Bible and out of the Royal Arch chapter that teach us why. And instead, be there for them. And, and try to make sure that if they are the kind of person who didn't just want to become a Master Mason and we never see them again. They actually have an interest in bettering themselves and understanding the lessons of Freemasonry. Don't be the person that turns a corner and turns a shoulder because they're a one day Mason. Be the person who says, brother, I would love to show you and tell you everything I learned that you might have missed. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch. We'll see you next time. Bye.